the consumers. Uh, how, how do you see, I mean, you're, you're running a huge operation and you see so many consumers across, uh, across the globe and, and I think it's Salat has paved the way a lot in, in, in many countries. Do you see the consumers really changing their demands uh, over the, you know, the near future and, and, and also the past future? For sure, we have seen a lot of consumer changing their requirements by time. Uh, I have used this model several times or this uh, uh, statement, but I, I like to repeat it. A uh, few years ago when we got a license in Egypt, there were basically very little uh, data users, mobile data users in particular. And uh, we have pushed, I, I, I mentioned that there is a lot of uh, expectation for data in Egypt. And that's why we have pushed for 3G license and so on. Today, there is in Egypt something like 40, 50 terabyte of usage per day. And I see it that it, this is still the beginning. And there is much more changes, much more demand is coming. If we look in a more mature market like Saudi Arabia, where our mobile operation there, the, the, the usage for uh, HSPA dongle, which uh, uh, Abdul Malik mentioned about it here in Jordan, which they started recently, but there uh, started much earlier, is m more than 1.2 million users. And the daily usage is above 100 terabytes. And I, still there is much more need. Yeah. If we look at it from a, a, a larger angle and look into the total uh, 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 requirement or total usage by customer. In UAE, we have rolled out fiber optics. And I do remember, I am from those who uh, started long time in the telecom, the, the one, one megabit per second is too good at some time. Now customer demand more. And we are offering on so fiber. It's, it's mainly, are they looking for speed? I mean, it's not, and, yeah. But with the speed comes all other things. Because with, with the speed come the video. Few years ago, nobody was working or, or thinking that video will be the main user for yeah. mobile networks. It was voice and maybe data. Now it is expected that in the coming five years, the, the video on telecom network and basically on mobile will go up by 10, 20 times. Yeah, video, video increases so tremendous, customer, customer tremendous. Customer demand are changing, moving fast, and they, they, they are asking for more. So definitely there is a need to, to, to have a good business model where everyone wins. And the idea which uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Abdul Malik, mentioned about how to deal with this over the top, and there is a need to have one stand, one voice, where everyone should win, I think it's very important. And we in the Arab countries, as uh, operators, the big and, and, and the other one also operating there, we need to have one voice in order to be here. The, the European one, <laughs> no, I don't mean it. <laughs> the European one, they have already uh, formed the, the Euro 5, the big five European operators, where they are having one voice to, to talk with Apple, with Microsoft, with Google. Yeah. I think we in the Arab world, there, there is a possibility. And the potential here, I think, is, is just tremendous. And at the end of the day, it will be a win for yeah. everyone. Do, just coming back a little to the consumers, because I'm a little curious. Do, do you feel that the consumers or, or uh, your subscribers today are in more need of being taken care of by the operator? Or are they seeking somebody else to take care of them? Because it is a complex world. I mean, speed, yes, but how do you actually do you see any trends there? First of all, we do not want to lose the customer yeah. because that's, that's our, our, our main income area. So definitely there, there is a need to, to offer the customer the latest and there is a need to understand their, their requirements and to yeah. fulfill it and definitely give them the best quality of service. This, this is our they core business. That. This is our core business as telecom operator. It's not only connecting them, it's also to offer them the best quality of service. Definitely this change between one country to another depends on the ARPU, depends on, on the, on the uh, coverage and so on. But at the end of the day, it is the main basis for our uh, uh, job, for our business. No, but I had a feeling that the, in, in the, when 
the fixed telephony, of course, the uh, consumers were expecting to get everything from the PTT. You were taken care of, you know. Yeah. Then the internet came. I, I didn't feel that the consumers were expecting the same from the operators because it was seen as something almost floating outside. Yes, outside. Yes, yes, yes. But now when mobile broadband comes, the social network is it's coming a little back to the similar way of communicating and they are in the need of somebody taking care of them. And I feel that maybe somebody is actually looking at you as an operator community to be able to do that. It is for sure that there are several uh, stakeholders who are offering the customer what, what they need. Because if it is, for example, financial services, we need to, uh, uh, to work together with, with banking system in order to offer the customer the right financial service. But the same thing also uh, for video. There is a need to work with the media company in order to offer the customer what they need. Thing goes also on, on gaming, on education, on uh, healthcare. There is a need to, to work with other stakeholders. That, that, that's very important, we think, for for us. And I think this would, will what will change the Arab world. I am optimistic, by the way, that those changes happening in the Arab countries will move us to, to, to a better state, to, to another step, where we will be able to 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 be an active player in the market as Arab countries. Uh, there are a lot of potential in, in the Arab countries. There are a lot of potential, not only for call centers, which, which, which mm. are there, but also for software development, for media, for gaming. Mm. And, and those ones, if, if that is there, this would be a, a very good active uh, contribution to the world. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, let me pass to Philippe here from uh, Nauras and the QTEL group. And, uh, uh, I, think, I think we touched on many of the different things, but one thing that we haven't gone so far into is, is the different merging business models uh, that I think the operators are <laughs> coming into. Uh, do you see, I mean, you've you, you worked in other groups as well, international groups, and now sitting in Oman, uh, what is your perspective on, on the operator's role here in, in introducing new business models? Well, the, the first, I work for NARAS, NARAS is part of QTEL Group, but of course I'm not authorized to speak on behalf of QTEL Group, um, so that we're clear. Uh, the, um, what I think is, is, is quite uh, strange in what is going on at the moment is that you see the client taking more and more power, um, inventing forums, uh, populating them. I mean, today the, the first source of customer feedback that you can get in a country like Oman is actually populated by an online forum. It's unbelievable. I mean, this has been created just in the last year. So, so there is this, this big thing. Um, on the other hand, you see the operators um, somehow trying to run in order to, to keep control. And um, I'm not sure this is the right approach, uh, the, to be frank. The, the, there is a volume of people in the Arab world, 380 million people inventing the type of thing they want to consume, um, inventing the, the, the different thing. We need to participate to this, but it doesn't mean that we need to control it. I think that the river is, is wide open. You have this immense flow of people who want to express themselves on different things, associate and all that. And, and I think that what we should do is concentrate on the touch points at which we can make a big difference. That doesn't mean that we should not venture into new models. Uh, QTEL launched uh, with all its affiliates uh, some months ago uh, a, a music service called Backstage where you can basically download music and go to concerts and all that stuff. Well, all this is very, very well. Um, but in the meantime, we should not forget, I believe, um, our primary role, which is that at the end of the day, um, you know, as was presented by, by Thane, uh, the, we are touching the customer, we are controlling the billing. Um, they call us when they have a problem. Mm. And so we need to make sure that specifically that element kept, keeps uh, being, being taken care of. Um, there is always this, this belief in the industry that taking care of your customers properly is basically costing a lot. And actually we have strong evidence of exactly reverse is if you handle them well at the first time they call you or they touch you or they mm. whatever, it actually ends up costing you much less. Uh, happy customers tend to stay. Happy customers tend to um, consume more and more. That's just what human beings are. And um, 
that's where I think we can monetize here and now simply because we yep. guarantee the revenues we need for the infrastructure.